The commitment of rivals 250 safety at times of Vongor to TCU isn't a shocker. In fact, it's actually pretty refreshing that as far as his recruitment goes, he let it be known that he was down to a top three, wanted to commit early in March, and he did just that. When we spoke to him after his visit to Austin for the Longhorns Junior Day at the end of February and asked him about his relationship with TCU, he lit up and basically referred to the Horns Frogs as a us versus the world sort of situation. And I think if the writing wasn't already on the wall at that point about which way things were headed with him, it was made pretty clear right then and there. Now you're looking at the class that TCU has assembled so far as things progress through the spring. Vonger right now is the only four-star prospect, but that may change by the end of fall when you look at the type of athlete that defensive end Olshawn Mathis is. Uh, add that to some other commitments from solid players like Esteban Avila, who's a teammate of Vonger's at South Grand Prairie, and a couple of out-of-state guys and Alec Thomas and Devin Phillips, and there's a lot to be excited about. When I went to go watch Vonger last fall, I was actually pretty impressed with what I saw from him because playing in pads, 11 on 11, that really allows him to show his range as a player far more than what we were ever able to see from him in any sort of camp scenario. He was such an impact player in the secondary that it allowed five-star Jeffrey Okuda, who rivals had always ranked as a safety, to slide over to cornerback, and the two of them would just basically shut down two-thirds of the field in the passing game. Now going forward, it'll be interesting to see uh, how hard Baylor and Texas continue to work on him. They were the other two teams in his top three. I would imagine that the the Bears are more likely to keep kicking the tires on him, but it seems as though his mind uh, on TCU had been made up for a little while. And Vonger is a personable guy too, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him try and make the final pushes on some other players that TCU is going to look to continue adding to their class through next fall.